Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm super excited because I'm going to be putting some makeup on my face. I feel like I haven't filmed a makeup video in quite a long time and I'm really excited for this one. Basically I ran out of my Refi Brow Pencil. I had to go like two days without it and it was tragic and so I had to order a new one which it has now come. So my brows are with the Refi Brow Pencil and the Brow Gel. I thought whilst I'm at it I might as well pick up some bits that I've been wanting for quite a while which is basically the summer skin collection. So I got the bronzer, blush and highlighter. I couldn't restrain myself honestly because I'm so in love with the brow pencil and gel I just thought I just have a feeling I'm going to be in love with these two. So yeah if you'd like to see a little review of me testing these on my face then please carry on watching. I don't know if I look a bit weird on camera today. I decided to pin my fringe back or my bangs. So I kind of I was about to style them but then I thought you know what we're filming a makeup video they're just going to get in the way so this is what we did. So first we've got the cream bronzer, which I got in the shade Sand. I think I just saw quite a few people using the shade that were either my skin tone or a little bit lighter. I don't go to town on bronzer, like I like it to look quite natural. So I thought I'd go with the lighter shade. We are obviously starting with a bronzer. Well, that's what I do. Look at the packaging. I mentioned this when, I can't believe I haven't even said this yet. I did a whole video on the brow pencil and gel. I'll link it down below if you'd like to see that. But I went on about the packaging a lot. It is just like, so it's like that smooth matte feel. And I just love how simple it is. So cute. Um, I love the colors. I've just been loving cream products for like the last year. So when they came out this collection, I really, Oh my god, I can't go open it. When they came out of this collection, I knew it was something that I would love. I'm definitely glad I went for sand. Because I mean, sorry if the mirror is blinding. There we go. I think that looks, I mean, I think it looks quite dark in there. I don't know. We'll have to see. I think it comes out quite sheer. So that is the hope. But look how pretty I love. I feel like I'm going to first go in with a brush. I might do brush on one side and sponge on the other and see which one I prefer. I'm going to go in with a brush first. I'm just going to lightly spray. This is just a real Techniques brush and it's kind of like, it's quite dense and I feel that's kind of what you need when it comes to a brush for cream bronzer. I I love this. I feel like I heard quite a few people say like, oh, it's really sheer, it's not enough for me, but this is definitely my kind of bronzer. Like, I like it to be so natural and subtle. Oh, that works really nicely. I really, really like that. Okay, I kind of don't want to go in with the sponge now. I feel like the brush worked really nicely, but we will go in with the sponge just to see. which side I prefer. I have no idea. I don't know if it's easier for you to see on camera, but in person, I feel like the brush side looks a little bit better, a little bit more blended in. What do we think? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But I'm loving both sides. I think it looks really nice. I'm just gonna go and put some on my forehead. That is definitely a bronze I could see myself using quite a lot. Um, at the moment, my favourite bronze has actually been the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. And it is like my only cream bronzer, or was my only cream bronzer. So I've been using that to death, so I'm really actually happy to have another cream bronzer that I can use. Super creamy, super easy to blend. Um, I definitely rate that. We next up have the cream blush, which is a little bit of a smaller component. And I got the shade Malaya. I want to say it's Malaya. Um, I had a hard time choosing this because I couldn't decide between Malaya and Citrine. I could have been naughty, not both, but I decided not to. So this is the blush. It is so cute. It's in like a more of a lighter packaging than the bronzer. 
Um, and it is so cute, it almost looks like a little eyeshadow. This is the shade here, and the reason I picked this is because it kind of looked like that kind of perfect pinky red blush. It doesn't look reddish in here, but I feel like when other people apply it, it definitely gives that like pinky sun-kissed look, which is like my favourite look. That is why I went for this shade, and I think I might go with the brush. I think I just really liked the way it applied with the brush, it just felt like a little bit more blended in. Oh my lord, okay. Note to self, do not pick up as much of the blush as you do the bronzer because Oh my lord, this already looks crazy. I like picked up as much as I did of the bronzer. Luckily it's blending out, I feel like. She's blending out, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up a little bit less, a little bit less for the other side. <laughs> this is such a pretty colour, I definitely think of it a little bit too much on. Although saying that, I do love my blush, but this colour is beautiful, um, definitely like my go-to shade. Um, just be very careful with it, because I feel like with the bronzer you pick up loads and you think, oh wow, you need to pick up a lot, and then it gets to the blush and you think, I don't know, you think, oh yeah, I'll pick up a lot again, you don't need to. <laughs> I definitely feel like I've got a bit of colour to my face, I'm not gonna lie. And um, we lastly have the gloss highlighter, which I'm not gonna lie, this isn't the one actually I was most excited by. I was almost tempted just to get the bronzer and blush, but um, it worked out if you got all three, you pretty much got this like for half the price, I think. So I was like, oh, you know what, I'll get all of them. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Anyone else? I love the packaging though. Um, for some reason I imagine this like twice the size. I don't know why. Yeah, because you hardly need any of it. It doesn't really need to be any bigger than this when you just use dots, don't you? So yeah, this is the highlighter. I'm kind of thinking of just using my fingers. I feel like that's the vibe, maybe? I'm gonna not go to town on this because I think it's gonna be quite pigmented. One thing I have noticed is that, like I'm squeezing it, it is like half air in here. I'm like, okay, like I know you don't need a lot of liquid highlighter, so it probably still will last you a really long time, but I'm like, this is half air. <laughs> that is like straight up gold. You're not gonna see that, sorry. literally like gloss for your face. That is so pretty. I think I need more. <laughs> I'm really sorry if this is um, really horrible lighting, but I thought I would just show you a little bit close up. Um, this is the gloss situation. That is so pretty. I'm up. Altogether, this is like definitely the summer vibes that I go for. Like, all of this is. I love not setting my face and my face being like glowy and sticky. That sounds so weird. But that is essentially like my perfect makeup. So, I love all of these products. And I think. Oh, I don't remember how much all three were. I'd say it was like £45. It was something like £45 for all three. I mean, I will put prices as I'm showing the product, but I want to say it's worth it. Like, I'm in love with all of these products. So there we go. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, let me know if you've bought any of these products or if you are now tempted by any of them because honestly, Refai is becoming like one of my favourite beauty brands, if not my favourite. I feel like just everything they come out with now I'm gonna need because I'm just obsessed with everything and yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in my next video bye